Welcome to our review on reducing corrosion. So when we're thinking about techniques that we can use to prevent this corrosion or rusting, then we've got four main ways that we can do this. First one is paint the surface because not only does it make it look nice, but it also means that the water and the oxygen can't come into contact with the metal. We can coat them with oil, grease or plastic, again preventing the oxygen and the water from coming into the contact with the metal. We can plate it with zinc or we can plate it with tin. The first process we're going to look at in a bit more detail is one called sacrificial protection. So if we consider what happens during rusting, we start off with iron atoms and then they're going to be oxidized because they're losing electrons to make the iron ions and obviously the electrons. What we find is that the more reactive the metal, the more easily it will lose the electrons. So basically the more readily the more reactive metal is oxidized. This principle is therefore really important when we're considering how to protect the iron from rusting because we can just use a metal that's more reactive than iron to prevent the iron from actually being oxidized. And this is the basis of our sacrificial protection. We take a more reactive metal like magnesium and we attach blocks of it onto our iron. So what we actually find is as a result of that, then the more reactive metal is going to corrode first. So you can see the picture at the bottom there, we've got these blocks of the more reactive metal attached onto the hull of the ship because they will actually be sacrificed to be corroded before the iron or the steel will rust. The second technique we're going to look at in a bit more detail is the idea of metal plating. Now, when we metal plate something, we're putting a coating on the surface of another metal. So the whole idea behind this is that it's going to prevent the oxygen and the water from reaching the iron underneath. If we were to dip it in molten zinc, as I'm showing you the picture on the right there, then that's a process known as galvanizing. So you quite often buy galvanized nails and so forth, which is just where they've been dipped into molten zinc. It coats the surface and therefore prevents the oxygen and the water from reaching the iron underneath. A second metal we can use for plating is tin. Now what we do with tin plating is we electroplate the steel with tin. So you connect your steel can into an electrical circuit and then it's going to attract the metal to it and then coat the surface with the tin. Now we tin plate the inside of our food cans and tin is less reactive than iron. And this is where it's actually quite important to remember one of the key features here of the sacrificial protection is that the more reactive metal corrodes first. So because we've actually plated the inside with a less reactive metal, then if we have some form of damage occurring on the inside of that tin, so when they get all dented and things like this, if there's therefore a gap in the tin plating, then it's going to speed up the rusting of the iron. So as long as the cans are intact and in one piece, absolutely fine. But if there's damage to the tin plating layer, then the iron will corrode very quickly. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can explain how we can reduce corrosion by producing those physical barriers to the oxygen and the water. You can explain the process of sacrificial protection and how it actually works. And you can also explain how metal plating works.